Good deal. All right, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and the Holy Host, Heavenly Host, to witness the uniting of Kenneth Brody Hicks and sobriety Renee Groves in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declares that a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Who gives this woman to be married? All right. Kenny and sobriety. Marriage is an institution that was instituted by God. And God has said that marriage um, is a representation of his love and his love toward us. Since God is love, the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, that love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not um, insist on its own way. It is not irritable. It is not resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things and believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. The key to having a long and lasting successful marriage is to have God at the center of your life personally as well as the center of your marriage. The Bible also tells us that with God all things are possible and that we that he would never leave us nor forsake us. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all, Lord, we ask you uh, to bless this marriage that they shall enter into the day and bestow upon them your guidance and love. Give them strength, patience to live with their lives in total devotion to you and then to one another so that others will glorify you and give you praise. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Kenneth, now that you're facing your bride, take her hand. Kenneth. Will you take sobriety to be your old lady? <laughs> <laughs> sobriety, will you take Kenneth to be your old man? You will. Now, I had to put that in there because I was bribed to put that in there, the old lady and old man part in there. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right. Kenneth, this is for you. Will you take sobriety? To be your lawfully wedded wife. Will you commit yourself to her? Love only her. Forsake all others for her, do, for her well-being. And lead her in the things of God. Do you promise to have and to hold her. To love. To honor. To trust. To serve her in sickness and in health. In the good times and in the bad times. To be true and loyal to her. So as long as you both shall live. Y'all hear that? He said he does. <laughs> Louder. I do. Okay. <laughs> Sobriety. Will you take Kenneth to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you commit yourself to his love and forsake all others for him and his well-being? To follow him in the things of God. Do you promise to hold him, to love him, to honor him, to trust him, to serve him in sickness and in health, and in good times and in bad, for as long as you both shall live. I do. Right. <laughs> All right. I have your rings here. These rings represent marriage to everybody else on the outside. 
as you were then, you proclaim yourself taken, and that no one else has a right to you. So, Bridie, he is yours. Kenneth, she is yours. Just as these rings are surround are around total circle, and they're not broken, neither can your marriage be broken. Your marriage is the death to you point. The marriage is between God, a man, and a woman. That's a covenant. And that covenant cannot be broken. Since God is not dead, and you two are not dead, the only way that this marriage ends is through death. Okay? This is serious. So these rings are an outward expression of your vows and your love to one another. Just as these rings are unbroken, so is your marriage. Kenneth, take this ring, put it on the bride's finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. I pledge my life and my love to you only. Sobriety. Take this ring, place it on Kenneth's finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. I pledge my life, I pledge my love, to you only. Now, to both of you, I charge you to serve one another every day, to take care of one another's heart and guard it as if it's your own. Be kind to one another. Pray for one another daily. You need it. And most of all, trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you'll, you'll, you'll have the joy and you'll have eternal life everlasting. Okay? So, since they've made these commitments in the presence of God, in the presence of you witnesses, by the authority of Texas and the authority that God has given me as a minister, I pronounce to you, Kenneth, and sobriety, that you are now husband and wife. Kenneth, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ow. please, for the first time, welcome Kenneth, Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Hicks. Refreshments and everything else is back. And the pool.